you know, I feel like Leo has a reputation for dating young models, right? Like 19 and then he dumps them at 25. The 47-year-old actor is officially single again after splitting from his girlfriend of five years, Camilla Marone, just weeks after she celebrated her 25th birthday. What made Leo a constant subject of tabloid headlines and online conspiracies is his long track record of only dating women under 25. Like when I see Leonardo DiCaprio going on a 19-year-old, I'm like, bro, what do you talk about? Once upon a time in Hollywood, nearly three hours long, Leonardo DiCaprio attended the premiere, and by the end, his date was too old for him. So... <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio is considered one of the greatest actors of our generation, with his body of work including The Titanic, Shutter Island, Inception, one of my favorites, The Wolf of Wall Street, and his Academy Award winning role in The Revenant. In his 30-year career, he's acquired fame, fortune, and the title of ladies' man with his high-profile relationships he's been linked to. But apparently he only dates women in their 20s and tends to dump them before they're 26. Many articles have been written about this, and even charts have been created to corroborate this notion. So I wanted to take a closer look into the dating history of Leonardo DiCaprio, the city boy admiral. Leo has been linked to many women in his life, some flings, some just friends. Before this video, I will focus on 14 ladies. And since I will butcher these names, I'll let my computer introduce them. Bridget Hall. Naomi Campbell, Kristen Zong, Eva Herzegova, Giselle Bunchen, Barra Filey, Blake Lively, Aaron Hetherton, Alizia Riabankova, Tony Garn, Lorena Ray, Camila Morone, Gigi Hadid, Vittoria Soretti. These women represent Leo's dating history from the beginning to current day and will be the basis of the girlfriend timeline I made. This chart represents the ages of Leo and his girlfriends at the start of their relationship. I'm going to highlight a few points starting from the beginning where you'll see Leo was 19 and Bridget was 16, which is suspect, but I'll keep moving. Next is one of the few times Leo's girlfriend was older than him, Naomi, and that was by four years. Further down on the graph, you'll see the age gap widen, one of the biggest being his current girlfriend with a 23 year difference. This graph represents the ages of Leo and his girlfriends at the end of their relationship. He's had three long-term relationships with Giselle, Barr, and Camilla, each ending after five years and all during or before the age of 25. Gigi at 28 is the oldest woman to date he's been in a relationship with. And his current relationship hasn't ended yet, and that's why it's not on the graph. After crunching all the numbers, I came up with an infographic that sums up his entire dating life called Leo's Love Life by the Numbers. This graph shows the median age of Leo and his girlfriends at the beginning of the relationship, 21 and 33, and at the end of the relationship, 23 and 34. 57% of his relationships last less than a year. 21% of his relationships last longer than two years and 0% of his relationships have lasted longer than five years. He has a type because 93% of his girlfriends were models. He is likely to date a woman between 20 and 23 since 57% of his girlfriends fall within that age range, and he tends to date women more than 11 years younger than him. There's a 54% chance Leo will break up with you after the age of 23. And by the patterns of his dating history, his current relationship has an 8% chance of making it out of 2024. In many interviews, he's asked about marriage and gives vague answers every time. When are you going to settle down? Oh, Kids I would, and marriage. I would never answer that question. Is it on the cards one day? I'm sure it will be. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to say, you're not getting any younger, Leo. Do you see that for you? Sure, sure. You want that? I think everybody eventually, well, not everybody, but I think that, you know, eventually when the time is right, absolutely, yeah. But does married life seem a little boring to you? Does it seem boring? A little sedate? No, I've seen interesting marriages and I've seen not interesting marriages. <laughs> are, you, are you thinking maybe uh, the single life is something you want to give up at some point and have a family settle down? 
I take it as it comes. We'll, yeah. we'll see what happens in the future. We'll see what yeah. happens. But is that something that you see in your future? I, I, I don't try to determine what the future will be. I take it day by day. So, what does this all mean? If we're looking at his history, it's clear that he dates 20-something-year-old models and then dumps them before they're 26. But is it deeper than that? He could just be a millionaire playboy philanthropist, enjoying young models from around the world. Or he could be a man with commitment issues with his clock running out on finding real companionship. Or maybe he's just a guy who knows what he wants and doesn't care what the rest of the world thinks of him. But the only person who knows that answer is Leonardo DiCaprio, the City Boy Admiral. 